Hi everyone, um, today we are looking at how to control our double acting cylinder. This is as a basic introduction to fluid seam software. Uh, please check the first video for basic introduction to um, fluid seam software. So today I just want us to look at how um, can we control our double acting cylinder? We did look um, that to control our single acting cylinder, we will need 3 by 2 So let us check uh, for just a basic operation. As I've said, this is just introduction. Again, as I've said, you will need to start on a new page um, every time you are starting our new project. Um, or you can um, want to delete the old one you just highlight and you, you delete um, everything um, and also make sure that you rename your your your, your project uh, save as and then I'll rename my project I'll say um, I'll say I'll say D for double acting cylinder one so I save it here. It has changed here. Then um, we are look, we want to have a double acting cylinder uh, control with the push button um, with the return spin. Just one double acting cylinder. Again, this is just um, to assist you uh, for basic uh, understanding or introduction to the software. This is our double acting cylinder. And then we need a control um, valve. We take four by two control valve, and because it's pneumatical, we are con we are have a, a compressor and an exhaustion. In this case, exhaustion we use um, a sucker. And then um, we need. To control our valve using um, a push button with a return spring. So you would double click on the control valve, and then you select it manually control it's a push button and it has a return spring on the right and you click OK. Then you can connect. As we can see, this is a, 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 four, a four, four by two. We have four uh, ports and two positions. Now, as I've said before, some other books, if you're using some books, they will refer these ports as, as in alphabet. Here in a software, it, it refers one, two, three, and four. Um, some most cases, one would be P. Um, three will be a return P, it's where you put your pressure. Three, it's where it's a return path. Then you'll have your A and your B where you connect to your cylinder. So let us put, um, let us connect pressure and then let us connect exhaustion. Let us connect here and we connect. Yeah. Now, as we we can see, as it is now, this is a double acting. A double acting will need a pressure on this uh, for to retract um, this uh, the cylinder after being extended. So we need to put pressure to make sure that our cylinder is retracted. Then when you put uh, when you push our um, push button, then we need to extend to put pressure on this uh, side to make sure that our cylinder extend. So let us now try and achieve that. Uh, we, we, we press a push button to make the cylinder extend. We press play. As you can see here, this is our, our part that the pressure goes in here and retract our, um, our cylinder. Now we want to extend our cylinder. We press the push button. As we can see, it has extended, and this is the path. Um, we put pressure at this side, and then the cylinder extend, and then 
um, on the other but it's re it's returned to or it's being uh, exhausted or put on exhaustion or saka so this is how you 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 control your your double acting cylinder and again i want us to look um also um one also of the mistake that normally we find ourselves doing um, um selecting a, a a wrong um control valve in this case let's take three by two um i'll just ask one to look uh, before connecting the challenges that um you you might have um as you can see here we only have one um output here now that will be a challenge now because we'll need a return path um of 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 the oil or of the pressure um so here we will struggle to have that so it might not be it not be, uh, be able to assist us to achieve what we want to achieve so this is how we control our um, our double eighteen cylinder um a basically uh, using um, a four by two with a push button now i want us also to observe something if we press play here then we push our button and we release our 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 circuit um our cylinder extend very fast now the question how to control that um we have what you call a one-way control valve that you can use um when it's extending to extend um uh, the the flow to be slow so that will be able to see um the extension with our eyes uh, because sometimes it's difficult to see so you check for one way um flow control valve um one way flow control valve you right click you rotate but this is um is 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 up to you can connect as it is you rotate 90 degrees copy and paste and then you connect it so you, we just want to make um um our 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 cylinder to extend slowly not fast um so that we will be able to analyze or see properly okay and also what you can note this is our one-way control valve and this is 100 percent so uh, it means the pressure that we are applying the output will be the same as the pressure that you're applying so we want now to um to control it so we can double click and reduce it um here it's either you 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 you, you, you move this lever or you double click here you type i want it 50 and then okay double click move 50 and okay so it is 50 50 now i want us to see the difference between the first one and this one you press play you press play then as as you notice again same um still have pressure on this side that's making sure that the our cylinder is retracted you press a push button to extend it as we can notice it has extended slow or release it re it it retracts slow so this is how we connect our double acting cylinder this is how we control our double acting cylinder and also to note um in this um, um uh, configuration we it is called a direct uh, control circuit because you just um controlling your cylinder um, your, your cylinder using one control valve the next video will use an indirect control and we'll be also looking how to make your circuit palletted um, thank you very much for watching this video uh, please take care and watch um, the next video how to design an indirect control
um, circuit using a double acting uh, cylinder. Thank you very much.